take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. That's Rockin' Report, not a finalist, but uh, give me an idea, one of the music videos that came in, over 600, and uh, it's pretty good, but everybody that took action in resisting the globalists was a huge success. We're going to give you the second place winner in the Paul Revere contest and also show some of the runners up to second place, uh, you know, some of the ones that were behind second and third place. First place will be announced tomorrow sometime during the three hours. I haven't decided when yet. Before we go to David Knight uh, with the second place winner and some other... Uh, film clips we want to play. State of Mind is a documentary I'm in that I consulted on, but it's excellent. We are the sole distributor of it uh, on DVD and on Blu-ray. It's available at InfoWarsStore.com. It exposes how people are being manipulated, the different forms of brainwashing, mind control, and the history of MK Ultra. It's very powerful with a bunch of psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, Colonel uh, Anthony Schaefer, who was in Psychological Warfare, uh, myself and just uh, G. Edward Griffin really is a great film, and I hope I saw it. It was so good. I said, "Well, let me help you distribute this." I hope everybody orders it at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. We're also carrying Breakthrough. There's a little shout out to us in the book. I didn't even know that till I I, I knew I wanted to carry it when it was a how-to to take on the New World Order and how to be an incredible citizen journalist by the folks that brought down Akron and so much more. I mean, they know more than I do, folks. You talk about action-packed. Uh, with James O'Keefe. Incredible book, Page Turner, available at InfoWarsStore.com, founder of Project Veritas, James O'Keefe. Get the book today at InfoWarsStore.com. This and hundreds of other titles, the very best stuff, InfoWarsStore.com, or again, 888-253-3139. On our own shopping cart, we have the Modifylon, the best brown seaweed extract from the Southern Hemisphere, so it's clean compared to the Northern Hemisphere. I take it in the morning, noon, and night. Incredible supplement, uh, just amazing. That's at InfoWarsStore.com. And at InfoWarsHealth.com are more than 400 products in the catalog, all discounted longevity products, free shipping available at InfoWarsHealth.com, the new Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, Citrus Peach Fusion, the ultimate multivitamin mineral complex is available, now certified non-GMO, pesticide-free, Whole Foods, I'll get with an 8,000 ORAC uh, organic total serving per serving. By the way, let me let, let you know a little bit of a secret. The old Beyond Tangy Tangerine was pretty much organic. It's just when you have over 100 ingredients in there, it is a hell to be able to have the suppliers, have it put together, and always have it USDA certified. So they went through a whole other process and a different factory, because the factory can't have anything in it that's GMO or not organic, and, and, and literally took two years, basically in a facility building their own new factory to bring you this. It's the only one out there you're gonna find where it has this many ingredients and they're all organic, USDA certified uh, and non-GMO. And on top of this, ladies and gentlemen, on top of all this, uh, they are patriots as well. It is the best product out there. Also, the best when it comes to uh, energy drink is Pollen Burst Plus. I, I love it so much. I wanted to endorse it. I'm actually on the packaging. Talk about getting energy and brain power. Go check out the Pollen Burst Plus and hundreds of other products. InfoWars health.com or call 888-789-9277 if you want to ask any questions or order via the phone, 888-789-9277. And I want to thank all of you uh, who have been supportive of the product, I mean, and, 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 and who have been buying the product from us. You're financing so much of what we're doing here as well. So it's a win, 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 win. So we can do things like have a $115,000 film contest. That's among some of the biggest in the country. Uh, as David Knight said yesterday, who's been helping uh, Honcho this contest for me the last few months, General Electric had a year uh, last year with a $100,000 contest. We're going to do another one, too. It'll probably be a year next time. 
uh, because that's a great way to do it. But I wanted to do this to see what got produced and then to, out of that body of people, find folks to work with on InfoWars films that I've been wanting to launch forever because I'm just too busy to make films. I, and, and I want to be able to be a producer and maybe a uh, co-writer, perhaps, on some documentaries or even fiction films, but I don't have time in amongst everything else to just sit there and do it because I want to make really good films, which I can do, but with the time I've got, I've got to literally not see my children to do it. I mean, making Obama deception too, especially now, I'm going to be seeing my children maybe half a day a week. Uh, and when I'm around them anyways, I'm already thinking about work or... And I've got so much other stuff, devil darts, as I call them, little things going on that I have to deal with. Just please pray for this operation. It is a literal miracle that we're still on the air. It is a literal miracle that I'm not dead. It is a miracle that InfoWars has been able to do this. And we are under demonic attack. Make no mistake, even don't believe in God, just the, the mindset of the corrupt world. You see what's happening all over the place. Society is degenerating. And we try to stand up for those that love liberty and stand up for freedom. We hope you'll stand right beside us and support us as well. And this is a pure research project we've done where you can say what you want about InfoWars.com or Alex Jones or my crew. A diverse crowd of really hardworking people. And by diverse, I mean their mindsets, their understandings, their talents that they bring to the game of liberty and life. And awakening the sleeping giant that is America and is the world with the spirit of Paul Revere. But uh, it's a great responsibility we have being right at the tip of the spear. And you're right there with us when you support us. And uh, David Knight, tell us about some of these uh, other honorable mentions. And then I'll let you announce uh, who the second place winner here is for $10,000. Yesterday uh, was a third place announcement with Political Earth. Today will be second place tomorrow, the $100,000 grand prize. David Knight, reporter for InfoWars Nightly News, and formerly a contestant who lost uh, on the reporter contest, but you were a runner-up. That's right. You know, it was very difficult to decide these, as we've said every time, because you've got such a wide diversity of topics and approaches. And they just did a great job. And it's even harder to pick something to put on the radio, because so many of these things are really good visually. And they, of course, the really good ones are going to tie in things visually with the dialogue. But uh, I've pulled in a couple of these things to show just a, about one-minute excerpts from a couple of these films. But there's some really excellent films like Clandestine, Game Over, Beta Test uh, 2027 that I don't have a clip for those yet to, to run today. And they may not work on the radio, but, you know, we're promoting these things on the nightly news. We're promoting it on our website. And, of course, the entire online virtual film festival is at YouTube. So that was the really the... the Plan from and by the way, these things are going from 10,000 to 50,000 to 100,000 to 200,000 to 300,000 to 400,000 to 500,000 to 600,000. You can just see so many of these 600 films are really growing and will just have lives of their own to influence people, to wake them up. It's beautiful. That's right. We want to help people to find an audience. We want to help them to get their films out in front of people to tell their story, to wake people up. So we've got films that even like this very first one, Horse Meat. It was not something that they went out and shot a lot of films with, but they did very good research, very good editing. It's got great content, and it's about abortion and a different approach about abortion. we got a clip of that right now. They sell baby body parts. That's what it's all about. Yeah, you give them the initial uh, fee for the abortion, and they make a little bit off of that. But they make their real money from the baby body South Korean parts. customs officials say the first case of someone trying to import the so-called human flesh capsules to South Korea arose in August last year. Since then, they say there have been 35 cases of people either trying to bring the capsules in through airports into South Korea or sending them via post from various areas in China. They sell the eyes for about $1,000 a pair. They sell the brain for about $2,000. They sell the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys. And they even sell the arms and the legs. They're selling your aborted baby, your own flesh and blood. Unbelievable. You think about that. This is something that people don't usually hear about. It's hidden in the industry. They don't want you to know about this. And they use this kind of terminology, one-time medical termination. One-time medical... It only takes one time to abort a child.
you know, they're really smart because all well, people only care about horse meat. They don't care about dead babies. That's and they don't, that's why as women learn this. Last, late last month, two bioethicists, Dr. Alberto, do you believe? And then we're playing a little bit more, but people can see the full film up at Operation Paul Revere. Give them the name again. Horse meat and babies. That's Edward Ricove. Infowars.com forward slash Paul to find it. And then they point out people care about horse meat, but not about babies, basically. Right. Right. And, and, and here's the deal. They're getting upwards of $10,000 per baby for your baby. So you think, oh, I'm getting to kill my baby for $3,000 or at a fancy clinic as low as $100 at some of the city-funded ones or whatever. If they think you think it's expensive, they'll charge you thousands. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in a lot of countries, they're actually paying women who figured this out to come in. And uh, so, so that's, you know, that's pretty good money, folks. Sell your own child. Uh, you pay them 300 bucks, and then they sell it for $10,000 uh, so they can use it for medical experiments, whatever. Uh, this, is, this is absolutely abhorrent, but it, it just shows how dehumanized we've gotten. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there was a special report that Leanne McAdoo did last week about organs being taken out of Chinese prisoners and the tie-in with these body exhibits that are going around the plasticized bodies. That, that's it turns out they're fall-on gong. <clears throat> that's right. Now, our next one here is called uh, Dear Giabo, and it's about a uh, fellow who's imprisoned by the New World Order, and he's writing a letter to his son. Dear Giabo, my son, I write you this letter as a final testament to truth I've known. I write you this letter to save a dangerous history they will do everything in their power to suppress. But more, my son, I write you this letter so you may know why I have been away and shall not return. I had always lived as a simple man. I never interfered. I minded my own business. But that was another life. That was before the Cullen. Every drop of time pushes the thoughts of the calling further to the front of my mind. Every dam I construct gives way. Soon I'm drowning. Uh, that's a pretty powerful film. Again, we're just teasing you with these. Go to the site, see it at infowars.com forward slash Paul. Our next excerpt here is uh, uh, a little bit lighter than these last two. And what would an InfoWars contest be without something with Star Wars? And this is called Night Trials. And basically, the way this is set up, it's kind of a quasi-animated live-action uh, film. And it's a Jedi who's reporting back to his master. He's been sent to America to look at Land of the Free, and he's reporting back what he sees. All right, here it is. Master. Apprentice. Report. I'm confused. For my trials, I was sent to the United States of America to experience the wonders of a true democracy. You were. What is the issue? There is much to tell of. Behind you, apprentice. No need to worry. It is just a zombie. A zombie? Yes, master. A large portion of the population has become so. However, they will not harm me as long as I refrain from forming an intelligent thought. What? The total surveillance grid tracked me and I was stopped at a roadside checkpoint. Is that legal? I was unlawfully searched, resulting in another weapon seizure. Apprentice, watch out! It's okay, Master. Just a gang member. Defend yourself now! I should. That will result in my arrest. It is better to give them what they want. The gangs and the illegals seem to have more rights than the law-abiding citizens. Astonishing. What happened next? With the checkpoint? Mind rub. These guards seem to have been exposed to the same mind-numbing tactics as the civilians. Why would someone poison their own force? Because they will be next. Explain. I was surveilled by a drone. A drone? Unmanned aircraft. There are thousands patrolling the sky. This is madness. They are also planning to defeat the Republic via the economy. The corporations have gone unchecked. They have the rights of people and money equals free speech. The elected officials have been purchased. Purchased? Indeed, operating under the guise of a two-party system and serving corporate and banker interests while crushing the public with fraudulent debt resulting in a reduction in quality of life. Have you tracked this source of evil? I have. There are many heads to this serpent. I confronted a Dark Lord. I am unsure whether it was the Master or the Apprentice. And the rest of the film is really powerful. That's great. And again, give folks the name of that again. That's Night Trials. No relation, but spell the same way. 
it was it was fun to do stuff like that and he covered a lot of different issues and he did it in an entertaining way and you know it, it's good to have the real meat documentaries out there and to cover the issues very carefully but we wanted to show that there's other approaches too that are going to work with different types of people so there's something like this there, there, there's a whole spectrum where you can get people involved and get them to work absolutely out. now i'm gonna do some overdrive today so i can get to these callers that are patiently holding frank and 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 uh, martin and Sean and, and Jim and Blaze, we'll get to all of you. Uh, I promise we're going to come back in the final segment of this hour uh, and, and give you the $10,000 second prize, second place winner for the uh, Operation Paul Revere film contest. But uh, these are over 600 weapons to uh, attack lies and to get people thinking on every subject you can imagine. Uh, in documentary form, fiction form, comedy, animated, music video, rap, country, rock and roll, you name it, it's there. Infowars.com forward slash Paul to find the top 35, then link through to uh, all of them, and then we'll announce the $100,000 winner tomorrow. Briefly shifting gears, what do you make of uh, Bradley Manning being found not guilty of aiding a foreign enemy, but found guilty of espionage and now facing decades in prison? Well, I think that's a real travesty. I think, uh, as you mentioned before, he didn't harm the security of America. What he did was enhance the integrity of government by exposing what a lot of these political leaders, like you mentioned the quote from Henry Kissinger that was, exp that was uh, brought out, that the illegal we do right away, the unconstitutional takes a little bit longer. He, he made the criminals uncomfortable. Exactly. He hurt their security. Exactly. You know, there's a distinction. There has to be a distinction made between Bradley Manning and Snowden who are exposing the criminal actions, and look at how the government reacts always, saying, well, we've got to tighten things down. We've got to stop these leakers. They don't want to go after the criminals. And you've had a former senator from New Hampshire speak out about that and say, he write a letter to Snowden saying how disappointed he was that there's no talk being made of changing procedures. Exactly. Of the people who broke the law. I mean, they're speaking out about crimes the government's committing. They're heroes. And they spin it around like they're the bad guys. But no other presidents ever went after. If you leak something that exposed criminal actions, you got awards mm -hmm. under Nixon, under Bush, under Clinton. Now you go to prison. It, but it's okay because Obama's black. See, he can bomb you and he gets a peace prize. It's, right. it, it's the triumph of fake liberal packaging. It's really sickening authoritarianism. Oh, absolutely. It's just amazing. It's like exposing somebody that's committed murder, and then they say, well, we got to make sure that people don't have a way to do that anymore. Well, they're saying we're going to kill you under national security, and if our own people blow the whistle, they're going to go to jail. Yeah. So as long as it's national security, they can take your bank account. They can kill you. They can put cancer viruses in your vaccine. It's called authoritarianism. We'll be back with the second place winner. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence, the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught 
going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. Obamacare supporters signed petition for mandatory euthanasia of senior citizens. And there's video of that. Ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't even edit these. I mean, when people don't talk to him, he cuts it out. But, I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll show you what really happened. Mark Dives can go out for 15 minutes. It's almost as bad in Austin, but not as bad. If you go to a trendy area, it's as bad. And you could say, let's kill anybody that doesn't turn their guns in. Yes, let's kill everyone. It's for Obama. Uh, let's kill the old people. A petition for mandatory euthanasia for senior citizens. People eagerly sign up. Uh, as activists tells them, we're going to put them to sleep like you do your dog. Uh, and they go on to say this. Uh, you will help Obama by killing the old people. And they sign it. That's, that's, what, a, that's an older guy. He's signing it there, too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he signed his death warrant. Yeah, it's an older guy signing it. But, but it's like, if it's for Obama. Yeah. Like, we're going to bomb five countries and put Al-Qaeda for Obama. We're gonna we're gonna do this for Obama. We're gonna we're gonna take all your rights and give foreign banks trillions for Obama. We're gonna shut down all the power plants for Obama. For Obama, I mean, what's they're in a trance, David? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. unbelievable. All right, without further ado, drum roll, please. The second place winner of the Operation Paul Revere contest. Well, let me read you the description here because we we're just talking about drones. It says, haunted by a mission gone wrong, U.S. drone sensor operator begins to feel suspicious about drone warfare and the implications it can have on freedom domestically. When his suspicions turn into reality, he's forced to act. This is from Johan A. Dutoit. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. It's American Drone, and we've got a clip of that right now. All right, here it is. The drone is about to bomb a family for radio listeners. No, no. in the shed. Permission to prosecute. Negative. Circle the compound and stand by. Did we get a PID on the target? Uh, that's what we're working on. Stand by. Copy. Okay, Jack 184. Go ahead and uh, prosecute the target. Master armed. Sensor, are you ready? Establishing track. Track established. Copy. Launching Hellfire. Three, two, one. Rifle.
Impact in 10 seconds. Now they see a little child. And now the drone operators whoa, whoa. see a little child. What's that? Is that a kid? I guess we just killed a kid. Ground Command, did you see this? Ground Command, did you see... Here's a purple heart. Yeah, that's right. And you catch that little play on words there. They said, uh, we, we killed a kid. And they go, it was a goat. Absolutely, because a kid is a baby goat. Now, that's a really well done film. Great acting, great shots, great storyline. It, it, it touches on the drone kill list. It touches on PTSD. And he's, and, and he's number two, but he probably would have got first place if his film, The Futurist, <laughs> would have not have been made before the contest. Yeah. And that's on our YouTube channel. That's it's right. amazing. Honorable mention. He made that back in September. And he couldn't get that on any film festivals. They would not play that. And it only <laughs> had a thousand viewers on his YouTube. Yeah. It's called The Futurist. It's on our YouTube channel. We posted it this morning on Infowars.com. It's in the news feed area. Get The Futurist and get it out to everybody. It's also on the Paul Revere site. So $10,000, you are the winner of 10000 Of course, after the feds take it, you're the winner of 6000 <laughs> That'll be sent 4000 to foreign banks. That's right. So, sorry, uh, that's how it works. Uh, but it's a great film. He touched on a lot of things. He touched on whistleblowers. He touched on the prosecution of journalists, not just the drone war. And yeah, because that's a clip it, of the film, and, yeah. and, and, we, and we did some clipping. That's why it looked right. like bad edits, because we were just getting them ready for the show. Right. But go see it. Excellent film. Uh, uh, um, the drone film, give them the name. It's American Drone. And it's the winner, and then he also made The Futurist, which is also extremely important. All at InfoWars.com forward slash Paul. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.